Hey guys, it's Sam. Today I'm going to be comparing Gilio and the Moterm Veg Tan Leather in both the Hobonichi Weeks and Personal Rings, comparing and contrasting and giving my opinions. In case you're in the market for one of these and you're just not sure if it's worth spending the extra money on a Gilio is worth it, or if you're not sure that the quality of the Moterm is good enough. I'm gonna go over the layout, the quality, and then kind of compare the pricing, and then just give my pros and cons about each. Hopefully this will help you make an educated decision if you are looking to buy one of these planner covers in the near future. So if you just look at them, they look very similar if you don't take into account, of course, uh, the color differences. This is not going to be the usual kind of leather that you would get from Gilio. They, um, the most popular of theirs is the Apoca leather, which is what this one is, and obviously this one has texture to it. This is from their Muppet line, and there was kind of a issue with a batch of this particular faux ostrich that they were doing, and they sold the covers at a discounted price instead of destroying them. They're hard to find. I would love to get my hands on the Fozzy that's like this. That's the lighter color. Um, I've had a couple of these in the past. I sold one that had some really gorgeous texture on it that I'll probably forever sad that I don't own anymore, but I love this particular line. It's actually very soft and smooth leather. They look very similar. Um, they both have these squared off corner. They both have the little bookmarks. Mo terms are a rectangle and Gilio's are these circles. Um, but otherwise they look very similar. When you open them up, there is some difference. Um, looking at, I'll just take these couple of things out of here. There's a pocket here, which on the Gilio, there's just a little bit more space than on the Moterm, but they both have the card slots. Gilios are closer together. Moterms are farther apart. I don't know that I have a preference there. The difference in here is that this is straight across, does not have the branding. Gilio's has the more like Hobonichi uh, copied <laughs> smile kind of uh, pocket here, and then the branding is right here. Now, this looks like there would be a pocket right here, but it's actually not. Whereas on the Moterm, there is a pocket there, and then both have the pocket here. Then when you go to the back, both of them have this more secretarial style pocket. I do like the design of the Moterm brand better than the Gilio. This one is just kind of squared off. This one has two on the Moterm. Let me get rid of this. Um, so you put the book in here and then you have another pocket here. Whereas with the Gilio, you put the notebook behind here and then you have this zipper. In my opinion, I do not like the zipper because it does tend to indent into this. And based on where this is on the cover itself, I don't really find any use for it. So I would rather see this gone for me personally. And then they both have a pen loop. Mo Terms is a little bit higher up, which I actually prefer. And the Gilio brand is very tight which I don't prefer. Um, it's very difficult to get a pin in. If you don't have a really skinny barrel, you'll have to take the pen clip and kind of clip it in. I just don't like it. It's awkward. I don't, I don't like it. Um, so I definitely prefer the Moterm. Gilio's does have the elastic on the one side. It's just really small. But the Moterm is, is very generous. You can fit pretty much any pin in this one, um, I really like that they give you the extra room to put a pen. They both have the big back pockets on the back. And then if you look at the shape overall, let's put them like this. The Gilio is just a bit wider, is just a bit wider than the Moterm. Also, if you look at the front, there's just the one popper on the Gilio, and then Moterm has this nice feature of the extra 
button so that if you start chunking up your planner, then you have some room to breathe um, in there. I never chunk mine up, so I'm not gonna need to take advantage of that so the size of the Gilio doesn't bother me. Um, but if that's something that you like to do, chunk up your planner, then that's definitely something to consider that Moterm has to offer that is really nice. Um, as far as these, I have been known to cut these out. I actually am currently using one in my Moterm, which is kind of shocking to me, but um, I don't generally like these because I don't like the way they hang out, but for right now I'm using them. If you compare those, the Moterm doesn't really feel much different than the Gilio. It's just a tiny bit thicker. And of course this little rectangle hangs down a little bit lower than the circle does. You can cut them out, you can leave them in. Um, if you're really careful with the seam, which I feel like the Moterm gives you a little bit more spacing here. Um, if you cut it really close up, you can't tell that there was ever a bookmark there to cut. Um, a lot of people just don't like that. So the layouts for this particular planner cover are very, very similar. Um, if you compare the quality, Gilio has really nice leather. Um, looking at the Apoca leather, which is going to be a little bit more close to the kind of leather that you have here in the veg tan for the Moterm. I would have to say that most people would probably not be able to tell a lot of difference. The Moterm planner feels really nice um, and so is the Gilio. I would have to say though that the Gilio smell is nothing like the Moterm smell. If you get a darker leather, it often has a chemical smell to it that the Gilio planners just don't have. But I would have to say that the Gilio leather, you can just tell if you really take the time to compare that it just feels a little higher quality even than the Moterm Veg Tan. In the end, does that really matter for a planner cover? I guess to some people it might. To me, I don't know that it really makes that much of a difference. Um, I don't mind it. I really do like the way the Gilio feels. They kind of feel uh, smoother, not as dry, and I don't know. I, I guess I just can tell a little bit of a quality difference just from the leather itself. This is really nice. Um, but I also love the Moterm. So it comes down to, in my opinion, some other features other than the way that the leather feels. Otherwise, quality, um, I would have to say that Gilio definitely wins. I think that the, the, the bigger difference is going to be in what you have the leather covers lined with. So inside the Gilio, and this is gonna be like super difficult, um, it almost feels like a faux leather on the inside of the Gilios, and it's very quiet, it feels very nice, um, and I don't know, I guess I'm just kinda used to the way that feels. Comparing that to the Moterm, it's, it almost feels like a, a windbreaker um, and it does sound kind of crunchy and lesser quality. I'm not sure what else is going on inside the planner but it kind of just feels like a piece of cardboard and a windbreaker <laughs> is lining the inside. Um, but if that isn't going to bother you, which it's obviously noticeable to me, but it's not bothering me enough that I'm not using this planner. Uh, <laughs> so will it bother most people? Probably not. When you get down to it, um, there's a huge, huge, huge price difference on these planners. Um, so the Gilios are gonna cost you, this I won't count because this is like a one-off since they don't sell this particular one anymore. And if you were gonna get the ostrich, like the real ostrich from Gilio, you're gonna have a huge increase over what you pay for the Apoca leather. Um, but we'll pretend like this is an Apoca leather. You're gonna pay about $300 for this particular cover, and you're gonna pay right around $100 for the Moterm. So if you only wanted one, 
I guess it would just come down to what features matter to you. Um, I definitely use this one less depending on the kind of pen that I'm using just because of the pen struggle with this, um, which is frustrating to me personally, but it might not matter at all to you. If the only kind of pen you use is a really thin pen and that's never gonna change, you love this leather, don't mind paying the price tag for it, or you just want to buy it because it's a Gilio, then it, I think that it would be worth it um, for you. But the fact that these are so close in quality otherwise, and the way that you're just gonna use it as a planner, you know, chuck it in your bag or whatever, um, and the fact that you can have this larger pen loop that's much more accommodating, in my opinion, or you have a lower budget, or you don't care about what the name brand is, this one, this particular line from Moterm, the Veg Tan line, has just, in my opinion, hit it out of the park. When they first brought out this line, and this just might be my personal experience, the only other con that I would give to the Moterm is that they have a tendency to not lie flat Whereas in my opinion, the Gilio, they just do a better job. There's less excess in this back pocket, in my opinion, on the Gilio than there is the Moterm, and it depends. The first ones that I have gotten from Moterm were worse than this one. They did this whole seesaw thing, and I felt like the two that I got in my latest pre-order, which came in January, I guess, that I had pre-ordered in November. I don't know if they changed the amount of leather they were using on the back part of the pocket or what, but both of them were lying more flat than the others that I had received in all of the other releases for the Moterm. But still, if you consider the price, even if it has that like seesaw back, <laughs> it's still $100 over $300. So it just depends on what's important to you, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to compare the personal rings. There's a little bit more of a difference between the styles of these, just for like the layout for the pockets and such. Okay, awesome. So I just threw my cat out and I think that he accidentally scratched the back of my planner on his way um, <laughs> from being tossed off my desk. Fabulous. Um, okay, so here's a good, uh, good time to point out that if you have something happen to your leather cover, it's going to make you a lot less sad if it costs you under $100 as opposed to around $300. So here are the differences between this. And I think you'll be able to see a little bit more what I'm talking about with this particular cover as opposed to the Gilio. So this one, it doesn't lie completely flat, but it also hasn't been used that much. Um, this one, it just kind of feels like it's closer uh, to the desk than this one. It, it just kind of feels like I have more layers going on with this one. And again, I think that might go back to like whatever it's lined with, this like cardboard feeling, which is definitely not the feeling that you get with the Gilio. There could be cardboard in there for all I know. I'm not um, ripping this open to see, but it just, it feels more compact than the Moterm. And again, you can see that it has this really nice quality lining on the inside of it, and the Moterm still has the whole windbreaker crinkle. Okay, so here are, I mean, let's see how this is gonna go. So this is the, the Moterm regular 2.0 ring planner, so it's not the Lux. I also have the Lux. This one is going to be more comparable to the Gilio though. Um, it has less pockets going on, it's not as wide, and this one, I think 25 millimeter rings is like as high as you should go. The other one comes with 30 millimeter rings standard. So you can see that there are quite a few more differences in the layout of these two particular planner covers. You have this slant with the Gilio, which I love, um, they both have the zipper here, but the Moterm is the only one that has this little piece of protective leather covering the zipper, which I just love because, again, it's going to protect whatever's on the other side from getting indented as easily. It's just a really thin piece of leather, but it's a nice 
touch for as much as Gilios cost you would think have that but they don't um, you can see though that the Gilio zipper is colored to match the planner and the Moterm is just silver most of it's being covered it's also bigger than the Gilio um, but they both have that zippered pocket going down the length of course you're still getting the crinkly stuff on the inside of this um, the Gilio itself much more pleasant better quality again in my opinion and they both have a little pocket here the pocket here and the Gilio just has this one whereas opposed the Moterm has two I don't really find these useful it's much more for aesthetics for me personally so I guess I would give points to the Gilio for this one but if you wanted to double up layer you're going to prefer the Moterm probably they both have this back pocket they both do come with a fly leaf this is going to be my opinion only I prefer the Moterm um, they are stiffer than the Gilio but I like that they have the other side is leather. You also have some function here if you use this as a wallet, but in my opinion, I like this because it's leather on both sides. I've never liked that Gilio's, although I love the way they feel, I've never liked how Gilio's has this like black fuzzy stuff on the back. I just kind of feel like it's cheap. And if this is such an expensive product, I feel like the leather should be on both sides like the Vanderspec and the Moterm. Um, I don't prefer when these have a pen loop attached, which the Lux version does have an extra pen loop attached. Um, I just, I prefer it not jutting out, covering up your uh, tabs and stuff. So I do prefer the ones that are like this that don't have anything extra hanging over. Then when you go to the back here, they both have card slots and Julio's have a little better style to them. I don't know that it's necessarily more helpful. Um, it's really easy to get into them, in my opinion. So both of those pretty good there. The Gilio pen loop is attached to where you're getting it covered up with the clasp itself, which I think is better aesthetically. But I do like the height of the Moterm pen loop. And again, it's going to hold all the pens with no problems whereas again the Gilio's is very slim and I do not like that about it I really wish that they would uh, redesign these pen loops to hold something other than a stick pen Moterm's strap is longer than the Gilio, and this particular one does not have a double popper the Lux version I think does however so again they're very similar Moterms is just a tad bit taller and just a tiny bit wider than the Campania. This particular one that I bought off of Buy Sell Trade did not come with the Krauss rings. I ordered them uh, separately, but I haven't switched them out because I just don't know that I, I just don't know that I'm going to keep it in the end. Um, again, for the price comparison, $300 to around $100. I don't know that it matters enough to me. I really like the way this one feels in the hand. I really like the way this one feels in the hand, but for worrying about dumb stuff, like this got scratched and I didn't even realize it. And it, I mean, that's kind of compromise looking to me. I'm gonna be less sad if this one starts to um, peel away than I would if it was this $300 one. and. So I don't know. I moved into this and then I moved back into this. So I, I, to me, it just depends on what matters to you. I like the way it looks. I like the price point. Yes, you have some lesser quality materials in this, but in the end, I don't think that to me, it matters enough to spend three times as much. But I, it's just gonna depend on a personal preference. I feel like the models are close enough Moterm has really done a fine job of listening to customers and changing things, changing the direction that the pen loop goes, changing 
where the pen loop sits, uh, changing pocket configuration. They really do take the time to listen, whereas I think that some other companies just don't. So I feel like they're close enough. If you don't want to spend the money, don't. If the money doesn't matter to you or you really just want the name, definitely go for the Gilio. So that's my thoughts on comparing the two brands. Let me know what you think or what your preference is in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that this video is helpful if you are in the market for a planner cover yourself. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and don't want to miss out on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much as always for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.